Uh, hi guys. I'm out walking Gizzy. I uh, already walked him out here and I took him all the way back to the house to go get my camera and I'm coming back out because I want to show you guys something. Plus I'm trying to do more walking because they recommend before surgery to do a lot of walking to help with blood clots in the legs. You don't want to do a lot of sitting before surgery. So uh, trying to get some exercise. And uh, I want to take uh, Gizmo to Dobbins Woods and do that hike with him. That's about a 45 minute hike. But I wanted to show you guys something down here. I'm going to set up my trail cam over Christmas and let it run and see what I get. But uh, you know you guys, the prints that this massive deer has left in the snow, you can't get a real true print like you can in the mud. And um, you guys, this deer is massive, absolutely massive. This deer is leaving the biggest prints I've ever seen ever in a deer. Now, I'm assuming this is the hind leg and that's the front leg because this wouldn't all be one track because if it was, what would leave that? That's his front leg, hind leg. Because animals, a lot of times, their rear legs will almost step over their front step or directly behind it or beside it. But this thing, this thing, you guys, is a huge deer. I mean, look at this. Look at this. I'm, I brought a tape measure with me. The spread on those front toes are three inches. The length of his hoof, front to back, a little over three and three quarter inches. Look at that, you guys. That is a huge, huge deer. He's massive. And this thing has been eluding my camera for weeks. His tracks are all over down through here. Just everywhere. All through this soft mud. This deer is a monster, you guys. This is a record deer. A record buck with a spread, a forked spread on his hoof like that, with that much distance to have grass in between it, this deer has got to be a giant. I have never in my life, and I've been in the outdoors a lot of years throughout the decades, I've never seen prints this big by a whitetail. Never. Never seen prints this big. He is absolutely huge, and he's been coming and going traversing up and down this mowed grass trail up to the black walnut and then he goes down past the tree where I, I have my camera mounted and uh, he's huge look how he's been kicking up the grass my god you guys this deer is giant he is a big boy He's just got huge prints all through here. Just everywhere. Look at that. Hind leg, front leg. I don't know if that's how white tail step with the hind leg behind the front, but I don't know what else that would be. It's gotta be. It's gotta be. I've never seen a hoof with that kind of spread on. According to those who have seen him, they said he's got a massive, gigantic rack on his head. So he's still alive because these tracks were left since yesterday. So he was through last night. Every night he's been coming through. So he must have somewhere where he beds down. He's obviously got a food source here. He feels comfortable with hanging around here. Sooner or later, he's gonna trip my camera. And being that he's using that trail, the black walnut for the next three days. I'm gonna mount my camera on that and uh, hopefully I can get him. So, just getting some things done around the house and that before I go out and see the surgeon. And then, like I said, uh, after Thursday when I get back, I'll share the information with you, whatever he says. And if they give me the date of the surgery, 
I'll share that information with you guys. So that big boy has been uh, passing all through here. And going up that trailway over there, coming through this field. He stays close to the brush, to this one side of the field, so he's smart, he knows what he's doing. So I let my uh, nurse know today, I called the nurse's office and let her know that um, the appointment has been bumped up to this Thursday, and then she's going to call me next week to find out whatever details I learn of. And I asked her about in-home health care, because my insurance covers it. And I asked her, you know, who would set that up, and she says it would probably be the, the hospital out there that would make home arrangements, being that I won't have anybody around. It's going to just be me by myself, and there's things I won't be able to do, and I don't even know if I'd be able to cook for myself. I don't know. Maybe I could. Maybe I won't. I don't know. And uh, But they said they would set that up if need be, or if they thought I would be better off in a rehab home, they would put me there until I was recovered enough to be home on my own. So it'll be one or the other. I don't know which. I'd rather be home, but... Uh, I don't, I don't, I'm not going to have anybody to, to help with cooking and, you know, I'm not going to be able to drive, so I won't be able to go to the store. So, I don't know, you guys. That part, I don't know what's going to happen, but still in all, I'm not concerned about it. I'm not worried about it because there's always ways to cover things deal with things, take care of things. There's there's always ways. Not always are those ways the greatest, but it gets the job done. So I will just have to deal with whatever I have to deal with for however long I have to deal with it and go from there. Eventually I'll be back into the swing of doing things and, uh, you know, I want to build that furniture. I'm really looking forward to building that furniture because I do enjoy building. It's all going to depend on what they pay me this month once I find out what they paid me. Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to afford it. It'll be when I can afford it. And then, so right now I'm just more focused on getting this surgery scheduled so I can get it done before they tell me I can't have it done. Because the Democrats are gonna keep this nonsense going all the way up until the next election because they always gotta have a crisis in place. So we're not gonna see no end to it for some time. They're gonna just keep it going. Always be another one coming along. So long as they're in power, that's that's just how our lives are gonna be. So anyway, I'm gonna set up my trail cam this evening before it gets dark. I'm gonna put it on the black walnuts up here because I've already covered this tree down here. And hopefully over the holidays, maybe, just maybe, I'll get a Christmas miracle and I will get that giant buck on video. I'm hoping. So, because he is definitely coming up and down that trail, so I should be able to get him. So, thanks for watching, you guys. We'll see you again in the next one. Bye-bye.